Hello everyone, my name is Cassandra and I am a sophomore here at Harper. I'm currently in my last semester here and I will be transferring to Illinois State University in the fall to study elementary education. This is my second year on the dance team. I came onto the team as a freshman last year and I was able to return again in the fall um, for the entirety of the season. I started dancing when I was about eight years old. I started in just regular park district dancing, just easy little classes, and then eventually ended up moving on to studios where I was able to fully develop more of my skills as a dancer. So overall, I've been dancing for about 12 years this year. The name of my piece is Como Tu, and the name of the song is Como Yo by Juan Magan. Overall, those translations translate to as the name of my title, like you, and the name of the song literally means like I do. So the reason that I wanted to switch the title of the song is because I wanted this piece to be heavily focused on building confidence. And I wanted my dancers to learn that no one can do anything like they do, which is why I switched um, the title of my song from the original title of the original song. This piece is very heavily Latin based. I wanted to make sure that that was able to be seen and to be presented well on stage because it is super important to me given that I have a Hispanic background. Both of my parents were born in Mexico, so were their parents, and then they came over and I was born here. Um, regardless, that Hispanic influence has been such an important one in my life, and although I was not proud of it when I was younger, I never really saw it as something positive. I really just saw it as something that made me different from everyone else. Um, through dance, I eventually found a studio that really allowed me to blossom into a confident Hispanic dancer. Um, that one specific studio was very heavily Latin focused as well. And we all were just able to bond over our commonalities and the ways that we were raised and just like little jokes that we could make in our native language. And being around so many people and being around that much of a positive influence and seeing all these people that were so happy with their culture really gave me the confidence to step into mine and to make it a positive asset in my life. So overall, I wanted to bring the confidence that I took from that studio, bring it into this routine and make sure that my dancers were able to see that they can be confident dancers as well, no matter how different anyone else says they may be. If there is one thing that has made me over the moon proud in teaching this routine, it has been seeing my dancers grow. Um, in the beginning, because I'm one of the older dancers in the team, I've seen a lot of the younger ones that came in very shy, very timid, didn't really want to talk to anyone else, and they weren't really letting themselves express themselves during class. Um, they were kind of holding back. So seeing some of those more quiet dancers really lean into the technicalities of this routine and the fluidness of everything that is Latin dancing has been so inspiring for me because this is a very different technique for them. They've never really done Latin dancing. Uh, they've never really had the opportunity either. So seeing them really take this routine and take it in stride has been so amazing. And I love, love, love that I've been able to see them grow through this routine and overall just see them have fun and be confident and just be goofy with their routine as well. One really big aspect of my personal Latin culture is that we are really big into family values. I have a huge family and a lot of my other Latin Hispanic friends, we all have gigantic families and they're super important to us. So seeing the vibe when we go to weddings or quinceañeras or just family parties, it's always very upbeat and very lively. Um, so with this routine, I really wanted the audience to be able to look at us as dancers and really see the liveliness on stage and almost want to get up and dance and join us. I wanted the feeling to be like you're sitting at a quinceanera and you're seeing all the dancers in the center and you're like, I want to get up and join them. This looks so much fun. Overall, I really wanted it to be just a lot of fun and just very light and lively, both for my dancers and for the audience, just so that you guys can enjoy what it feels like to be a part of my Latin culture. Overall, this season has been incredibly different from any other dance season I've ever been a part of. All of the dancers have been so inspiring to me and I really just want to thank them for all of their hard work and dedication that they've put into not just my routine, but all of the routines in the entirety of the season. It has been such an honor to see them grow and I am so thankful for each and every one of them, including our coaches. I want to thank them so much for allowing me to take these leadership responsibilities and to really allow myself to grow as a person, as a dancer, as a teacher, as a choreographer, 
because I know that I am a completely different person in the best ways possible than I was when I started on this team a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. I also wanted to thank my parents, my grandparents, my family, and all my old choreographers for really just allowing me to be proud of who I am. They have really shown me how important it is to be confident in who you are, and I wanted to be able to show that to my dancers that no matter what anyone else says about you, you can be confident because you are perfect just the way you are.